Hey there, viewers. Most food items that you buy these days have labels which all list ingredients in the product. But a lot of times, food producers and manufacturers without informing you may reduce the quality of the food items, either by adding adulterants or by removing vital substances. Food adulteration has become very common these days and it's usually done to increase profits by increasing the quantity or bulk of the item. As food adulteration is increasing each day, you should be aware of the tests which can help you identify the presence of common adulterants in food ingredients. And in today's video, we'll tell you about a few simple and easy tests that you can perform on food items to check their purity and quality. Number 1. Sweet Potato Sweet potato is often coated with rhodamine B for coloring its outer surface. This is done to make old potatoes look good as new. Rhodamine B is a color additive which has been banned for use in drugs and cosmetics due to its carcinogenic properties. Since rhodamine B is not affirmatively listed as safe in foods, it's therefore also effectively banned for use in food. It is very simple to detect its presence. Take a cotton ball soaked in water or vegetable oil. Rub the outer red surface of the sweet potato. If the cotton absorbs and changes in color, then it indicates the usage of rhodamine B for coloring the outer surface. Number 2. Coconut Oil Coconut oil has become very popular these days due to its wide range of uses from hair, skin, to even food. It's beneficial only in its purest form. To increase the quantity of coconut oil, other oils are added to it. You can easily spot the fake ones from the real. Just place the coconut oil jar in a refrigerator overnight. If it's pure, the whole thing would freeze. But if it's adulterated, the coconut oil part would freeze, while there would be a semi-liquid part which would not freeze, and that is an adulterant. Number 3. Honey Pure honey is very good for your health, but a lot of times sugar is added to honey to make it sweeter. You can easily detect this with a simple test. Take a transparent glass and fill it with water. Add a drop of honey to the glass. Pure honey will not disperse in water. If the drop of honey disperses in the water, that indicates the presence of added sugar. There's another method that you can use. Take a cotton wick dipped in pure honey and light it with a matchstick. Pure honey will burn, if adulterated. The presence of water or sugar will not allow the honey to burn. If it does, it'll produce a cracking sound. Number 4. Milk Milk is usually adulterated with water, detergent, chalk, fat, starch, and urea. To check milk adulteration, you can mix a small amount of milk with 20 milliliters of water and boil it. After boiling, transfer the mixture to clear glass and cool to room temperature. Once cooled, add two drops of iodine solution. If it turns blue, that means starch is mixed in. You can also check milk adulteration by pouring a drop of milk on a polished slant surface. If the milk flows without leaving a trail, it's adulterated. Normally, pure milk leaves a white trail behind. Number 5. Tea If you're a tea lover, you might be surprised to hear that used tea leaves which are artificially colored are added to increase the quantity of tea leaves. You can check its presence by sprinkling a teaspoon of tea powder on a moist blotting paper. In case the blotting paper's color changes to orange, red, or yellow, artificially colored tea leaves have been added to it. Color from the pure tea powder is released only when it's added to hot water or milk. Number 6. Salt Salt is another common food which can be mixed with chalk powder for adulteration. Dissolve a teaspoon of salt in a bowl of water. If the solution remains clear, then the salt is pure. If it turns white and there's remnants at the bottom, then the salt is adulterated with chalk powder. This is because pure salt mixes with water to form a homogeneous solution, while chalk powder is heavier and settles at the bottom. Number 7. Coffee Powder a common adulterant that's usually found in coffee powder is clay, owing to its look and feel which is very similar to coffee. You can test the quality of coffee by adding a half a teaspoon of coffee powder to a clear glass of water. Stir it for a minute and set it aside for five minutes. If you see particles at the bottom, it means that your coffee is adulterated. Pure coffee does not settle at the bottom. Number 8. Apples Fruits like apples are usually polished with wax to make them attractive and give them a fresh and shiny look. This wax is very harmful for your health. However, there is also a food grade wax which is safe to eat. Lightly scrape the skin of the apple with a blade. If adulterated with wax, you'll see it come off on the blade. 
Another way to figure out if your apples are waxy is to place them in a bowl or sink and pour boiling hot water over them. If you see a white, waxy film start to appear over the peel, then you know that you have wax on your hands. You can dip the apple in hot water for a few seconds to remove the wax. Once you take out the apple from the hot water, wash it again under running tap water. Number 9. Black Pepper Black pepper is fairly expensive and a lot of times it's mixed with papaya seeds. They look similar and it becomes very hard to distinguish the difference between the two. To check, add some black pepper to a glass of water. If it's pure black pepper, it'll settle down at the bottom. In the adulterated black pepper, you'll see the papaya seeds floating on the surface of the water. Number 10. Red Meat Red meat is the tastiest and healthiest when it's fresh. Although most packed meats come with a sell-by date, it's important to know how fresh they are, and you can do this in a couple of ways. Press the meat firmly with your finger. If it springs back nicely, it's fresh. If not, it's most likely old because it's losing its firmness. Red meat like lamb or beef should be bright red. That means it's its freshest. If it turns a bit purple, it's still okay, but it means it's been exposed to some oxygen. Number 11. Butter. Butter is something that a lot of you use on a daily basis. You can easily check the quality of butter using these methods. First, heat a teaspoon of butter in a vessel. If the butter melts immediately and turns a dark brownish color, then you know it's pure. If it turns light yellow in color, then it's surely adulterated. Second, heat a tablespoon of butter in a glass tube. Add an equal amount of concentrated HCl with a pinch of sugar. Shake well. If the mixture turns pink or red, that means the butter is adulterated with hydrogenated oil or other substandard chemicals. Number 12. Mustard Oil If you're a regular user of healthy mustard oil, then you may want to check its quality. Mustard oil is usually adulterated by adding arginine oil, which is much cheaper and not as beneficial. To check for the presence of arginine oil, take a sample of mustard oil in a clear glass and add a few drops of nitric acid to it. You need to shake it well and heat it up for two to three minutes. If the color red appears once it's heated, it means arginine oil has been added to it. Number 13. Mayonnaise If you're a mayonnaise lover and add it to almost every food to make it taste good, then it's about time you check its quality, as it may have artificial ingredients which can be harmful to you. Add some iodine to the mayonnaise. If the color of the mayonnaise turns purple, it's harmful for your consumption. On the other hand, if it goes yellow in color, it's not mixed with anything and it's safe for you to eat. Number 14. Turmeric Powder Turmeric is one of the healthiest spices you can add to your food, but a lot of times, artificial color is added to enhance its look and color. Don't worry, it's very easy to detect. Add a teaspoon of turmeric powder into a glass of water. Natural turmeric powder will leave a light yellow color while settling down whereas adulterated turmeric powder will leave a strong yellow color in the water while settling down. Do you have any other methods that you use to check the quality of your food? Try some of these and let us know how they worked for you in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.